quick message before we start this week's video. We now have channel memberships, meaning you could get a cool little sub image next to your name and access to some Kawabana emotes to use in the comments. So if you haven't checked that out yet, click the join button below to find out more. This week's forbidden game isn't one that you can try at home. This game is much bigger and requires you to follow a certain set of instructions in a specific place in Japan. If you succeed, however, you'll do something truly amazing. This week, we're looking at how to open the Demon's Gate. First of all, what is the Demon's Gate? Pronounced Kimon in Japanese, the kanji used for it literally means Demon's Gate. It's said to be found in the northeast, an unlucky direction in Japan, and for a long time, many cities and even houses were built to avoid this specific direction. Demons enter through the northeast. You really don't want a door or gate there for them to waltz right in unimpeded. But what if, for whatever reason, you wanted to open that gate? What if you wanted to let the demons in? If you believe Nichan, there's a way you can do this very thing, although it may not have the result you're expecting. The following set of instructions were posted to Nichan on June 11th, 2008. It came with a warning that only those who are truly fed up with life should try it. If you want to open the Demon's Gate, Here's what you need to do. Step 1. Take the Hibiya line from Akihabara Station and get off at Kayabacho. Go to the platform heading towards Hacho Bodi, and underneath the iron bars there, you'll find salt placed on the ground. Scatter that salt with your feet. Step 2. Change trains to the Tozai line and get off at Takadanobaba Station. Go to the platform heading towards the Seibu Shinjuku line transfer, and beneath the iron bars, you'll find salt placed on the ground. Scatter that salt with your feet. Step 3. Once again, take the Tolzai line to Kayabacho station and go to the ticket gate. Take exit 4A and go down the stairs. Scatter 10 pieces of rice here. Step 4. Take the Hibiya line from Kayabacho to Tsukiji Station and go to the platform heading towards Tsukiji Honganji. Beneath the iron bars, you'll find salt placed on the ground. Scatter that salt with your feet. And step 5. Get back on the Hibiya line. Close your eyes and think about the one thing you want most. Clasp your hands together and continue to ride the train as so. This method involves visiting various stations around Tokyo, scattering piles of salt hidden at the stations, sprinkling a little rice, and then getting back on the train and thinking about the one thing you want most. Once you've successfully completed all these steps, the demon gate will open. But what does that even mean? What happens once you open the demon gate? One Nichan user posted in the same thread that he actually went and tried it after work. He found the salt at the stations, for real, and it freaked him out. It was the last anyone ever heard of him. The next day, the news reported the strange death of a man in Meguro Ward, Tokyo. According to news reports, a 49-year-old man was found dead in the pool of a CEO's home in Meguro Ward, at 6.20 a.m. on July 11th. This was the very next day following the post on Nichan about the worker trying to open the demon's gate after work. This 49-year-old was a colonel in the self-defense force and he was found at the bottom of a pool with his head bleeding. He was believed to have finished executive training the night before and went out for a few drinks with colleagues before returning to his hotel. It was unknown why the man was found in this particular apartment building, as he apparently didn't know anyone inside. It was believed he fell into the pool because the gate had been left open. Nichan users, of course, immediately tied this strange death to the user who made the comment the day before. It had to be the same person. 
opening the demon's gate had caused his incredibly weird and unexplainable death. This was why people shouldn't do it. It seems like a little bit of a stretch, however, and it's fairly easy to debunk the issue. First of all, the Nichan user posted at 8pm. They stated they were bored after work, so they tried out the Demon's Gate ritual. Meaning, all of this was done likely between 5 and 8pm, but at the very least, some time before 8. The man who died, however, was a colonel in the Defence Force who was at training on this particular day. Afterwards, he went out drinking with colleagues and didn't leave until late. It seems unlikely this colonel would have had enough time amongst all of this to be bored and travel around numerous Tokyo stations to kick around piles of salt. It was an interesting coincidence, sure, but undoubtedly not the same man. Numerous people have visited the stations in the ritual over the years and never found any piles of salt. This is unsurprising for numerous reasons. But the first and biggest warning should be that it was posted on Nichan in the first place. Yes, the occasional truth gets posted there, which is why people still try things out, but it would seem that if the salt piles really did once exist, they no longer do. So opening the Demon's Gate in this manner is no longer possible. And it's also a good idea in general not to go snooping around sections of train stations off limits to the public. For various reasons. Salt or otherwise. But that, according to Nichan, is how you open the Demon's Gate. And the potential results of doing so. Opening it is only going to lead to your grisly death, however. So that's something you really need to keep in mind. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below or if there are any other forbidden games you'd like me to take a look at. And I'll see you again next time.